2 John chapter 1 verse 7 says for many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh this is a deceiver and an antichrist amen there's an antichrist spirit trying to rise up against the church going back to some Jewish fables We got people that don't have a drop of Jewish blood in them trying to be a rabbi. They are trying to get a hold of some things that they were never, ever, ever entitled to genetically. We have Gentiles trying to be Jews that don't work you go over to Israel being a Gentile and say that you're learning to become a, a rabbi you're going to probably get stoned you probably won't make it out of Israel they will laugh in your face oh but I'm here to tell you I'd never claim to be a Jew but I'm telling you what, the Bible calls me a spiritual Jew. Amen. That's when I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking with other tongues. Yeah, physically, I may not be a Jew. Amen. But spiritually, amen, I may be, I don't know about go see. I may not be of the physical, but of the spiritual. I call on his name. I know who saved me. I know who delivered me. You're going to have people come up and tell you that Jesus is the wrong name to call on. And I want to be real clear on this. There is a demon speaking out of that individual as he is he or she is telling you that. Amen. Because he or she is allowing that demon to use them. Amen. To try to disclaim the name of Jesus. But I'm here to tell you. Amen. The truth will always stand. The truth will always be there. The truth has been tried for ages and generations and has stood it has stood against countless governments this truth has stood against countless countries and it has not changed it will not change why because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever Paul says in Galatians but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you let him be accursed as we said before so say I now again if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received let him be accursed If I die today and tomorrow a spirit mocking my being preaches to you a different gospel, let it be accursed. That's what Paul was saying. It goes on in 2 John, this is my last scripture. It goes on to say in 2 John chapter 1, verses 10 through 11, If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. For he that biddeth him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. Truth. God is full of grace and mercy. But he will not waver his truth. He will not compromise his truth. He will not change his truth for any individual. I 
I don't mind bringing anybody in my house to talk Bible. But if I know and I feel in the spirit they have a closed mind, they don't step one foot in my house. Why? Because I got three little angels that I don't that I do not want any compromising spirit to attach to one of my kids. And I will say this, I'm going to say, I'm, 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 I, 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 we've, been, we, we've been praising and worshiping. I'm going to say this, a, a, a preacher that is not preaching the truth, how could he be called of God? I want you to think about it. That's why I'm just going to say it. No other preacher that does not preach this Jesus name doctrine will ever set foot as long as this redhead is breathing in and exhaling. Will not set foot behind this pulpit. Why? Amen. Because I want the truth preached over this pulpit. Why? Because I got my kids here. You got your kids here. Amen. We got visitors coming in. Amen. Buy the truth and sell it not. Elder Sister Price, that is why even when we were not affiliated with the United Pentecostal Church, amen, I still held to this truth. I still held to holiness. Why? Amen, because it's not the organization that I am sold out on. It's this truth. We have preached and taught in this church since day one on Grace Street that without holiness no man shall see the Lord women to look like women men to look like men women to wear clothes that pertains to a woman that's why that's why many of our women wear skirts amen that's one thing when you go to a restroom you see the woman's sign has a skirt on it and the men's side has looks like a pair of pants amen there has to be a clear distinction between male and female that's why we preach against homosexuality that's why we preach against living together without being married that's why we preach against lying that's why we preach against thieving that's why we preach against murder amen that's why we preach against fornication i could go down the list tonight amen that's why truth amen will save you This goes beyond morals. This goes beyond just your character. But this goes down to the very depth of your soul. Is truth what you believe tonight? Is truth what you're going to practice tonight? I don't care what all the other churches are saying. What do you choose tonight? The only way you're going to find out truth for yourself is you get bury your nose in the Word of God and bury your knees in an altar at your home and get into the Word of God and get into prayer and say, God, reveal this truth to me. I want to be saved. Reveal this truth to me. We have countless people in here already that's been uh, that's received the revelation of one God, received revelation of holiness, received all. I mean, I could go down the list. Amen. But it came by someone making up their mind. I want truth, and I want to be saved. There's lots of other churches you could play games at and play patty cake for Jesus. Cool little programs on the side. Lots of them out there. And I'm not knocking any of them. But what I am saying is I found something. That by all rights for the price, I should be working on my second or third marriage right now because of my upbringing. I shouldn't be stable in a job because of not having a dad in my life. I should be abusive to my kids because I was beat by my father. That's what the world says. But you know what? Truth changed me. 
when I applied truth to my life and I was filled with the Holy Ghost it put away that carnal being that the world thought it was trying to mold it put away amen that being that said you know what you're going to be this you're going to be that no the Holy Ghost mercy said no amen I ain't going to let go amen what I got a hold of can change any marriage it can save any family I am sold out on this 100%